The following program is closed captioned for the thinking impaired. Hey everyone, welcome to the Daily Toke. I'm back and uh, hey, let's get to the butt of the day. But today, it isn't a butt at all. I want to check this stuff out, man. It's unbelievable. It's like, like honey oil, but it's more crystallized, man. Check this stuff out. You put the littlest bit in your pipe, just a little bit like on the end of this poker. I'm telling you what, man, oh man, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. I mean, really, check it out. Just a little bit. Just a, just a little dab will do you. Anyway, that's what I've been hitting on lately, so I thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, let's get to the show. Hey, you know something? We're a day after the the Potomac primaries, and Barack Obama literally spanked Hillary Clinton last night with another sweep of three states. Well, almost three states. (laughs) Anyway, uh... You know, I just, uh, it, it's just exciting me, this whole political, uh, you know, season and stuff. These people running for office, I mean, it's pretty obvious to me that the turnout in these elections uh, is so overwhelming for the Democrats that things are going to swing this way. And and why wouldn't they? Be, you know, the Republicans, all they have to offer up for us is the same old crap. I mean, really, let's stay in uh, Iraq for a hundred years. I mean, really, that's not what I want to hear. I know that's not what a a lot of you want to hear. You know, we want things done. We want things accomplished and stuff. And I'm telling you, as, as, you know, much as, you know, as you want to believe that the Clintons have the answers for you, it's just not true. It's not true. I, I mean... I know there's some people still hanging on, and uh, but but if you watch what's going on here in these uh, primaries, it's the most unbelievable spin you've ever heard. It doesn't matter what happens. You know, she comes out, well, I must be uh, winning even though I'm losing. Don't worry about me losing because I'm winning. Don't worry about nothing. I tell you what, I just can't buy that. I can't buy it. I can't, I couldn't buy it back in the 90s, and I can't buy it now. And I can't imagine why anybody in their right mind would want to go back to the 20th century. I I just don't get it. We're in a new millennium. We need to move forward. We need to turn a page. You know, we need to send a message to the rest of the world that, that we aren't all like George Bush. You know, we're not a bunch of lying, hating you know, idiots, even though, you know, you get on YouTube or the internet, I mean, there's haters all over the place, and it seems to me that that's an acceptable form of expression these days, and we see it right in, uh, you know, our own government. You know, these Republicans, if you look at the conservative view, they don't want to work with anybody. They want to crush everyone else's agenda so they could for- forward their own. I mean, really. That's not the kind of people I want representing me. I want us all to work together. You know, United States. And that's what Barack Obama is uh, running on. I'm telling you. I I don't think he wants to go into Washington hating the Republicans. And speaking of the Republicans, I just want you to know one thing. I mean, if you really look at what's happening, they got this John McCain up there and this Mike Huckabee's, you know, running against him, even though it's mathematically impossible for him to catch up. It, but it seems to me that it's just one big smoke screen with them. They want you to think that this John McCain guy isn't as right as all these other people in the party, so independents and Democrats can vote for him. But you know something? It's going to be the same old crap the same old way, the same old lies, the same old, same old. Man, that's what goes on in Washington. And it will go on with the Clintons too. 
You know, they never really did anything. Even in his run for his second term, he didn't have anything to run on. All he could say was, well, aren't you doing a little better than you were four years ago? That's all he could run on. It, you know, it, it's amazing the crap that's been dumped upon us by the Clintons. And now for you want me to believe that your husband isn't going to be part of your administration? You want me to believe that you'll send him out to stump for you all over the country, but he's not going to be a part of things? He's going to call up super delegates and woo them, but he's not going to be part of your cabinet? He's not going to be on your staff? Even he got caught in his little game. He said, well, I'm not going to be uh, on her uh, in her cabinet or on her staff full-time. And I'm going to go on and let her be the president. You know, he, he, he slid in that full-time thing, you know. But really, there's too many people that don't like the Clintons. It's just going to be gridlock again in Washington. There's too much animosity. We need fresh people in Washington. I'm telling you, I'm really uh, pro Barack Obama because I think that's where we're going to get the changes done that we want as a people here in this country. I want my country to be something I'm proud of again. I want to feel good about it. I want the world to know that we're not a, just a bunch of bigots, that you could be a black man in this society and ascend to the highest office in the land, in the world, the most powerful position you could have, you know? I mean, this really is an exciting time in our lives, you know, where everybody's involved in the process, you know? but. I, I want you to know, even though I think this guy's the way to go, I want you guys to know that you have to go out and vote for him in overwhelming numbers. We need to send a message. We have to get up. The youth of this country, it's not all about talk. It's about action. You need to get up and vote. It's very, very important. You know, we need to vote for this change. I hear it on YouTube. I hear it everywhere I go. I talk about it myself. I've been talking about it for the last year. We're sick of the status quo in Washington, and we want things to change. And it doesn't stop at Barack Obama. We need to sweep these idiots out of the Congress and get new people in with new ideas that aren't locked into these lobbies and actually accomplish things in this new millennium. Very exciting to me, I'm telling you. You know, there's one more thing I want to say about the Clintons and this experience she's running on. And I'm really scratching my head here, wondering what the hell that experience is. You know, I haven't been around much on YouTube, and I'll tell you why. I've, been, I've had this cancer on my neck. It's a lot more than you might think. You know, I've had several surgeries on it, but it came down to one thing. Going to a doctor that would cut a big slice, about a two-inch swath from the back of my ear to the bottom of my throat, you know? And I'm feeling better now, man. I don't see the cancer no more. There's a, there's a scar there. There's a line going there. But, man, I'd rather have a line than cancer. But I'm telling you what, I was sitting there thinking about this experience thing. And if I would have trusted my surgeon's wife to do the operation, you know, just because she's married to him doesn't mean she's experienced. That's what I want to say about the Clintons. Don't believe a word of it, my friends. Hey, listen, I got to go. My time's out. It's been great. I'll be back more often, and I'll see you next time on The Daily Token.